now that tune is going to be in my head all day. Thank you, Dean. You're welcome. Good morning. I'm in Pilsen at Holy Grounds, and this coffee shop is right behind St. Paul's Church. If you've never been in Pilsen or around this area, it is a gorgeous Gothic church from the 19th century, the first time America had a Gothic style church. But I'm here with Elise Perez because we want to talk about Holy Grounds. Good morning. Good morning. I've never been in a coffee shop behind a church, and I am Catholic, born and raised. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about Holy Grounds. What is it? Who operates it? Yeah, so what you see here is built by volunteers. We started from our entrepreneur's summer program, and when we came here, it was already done. It was built by volunteers, and we came here, and we wanted to, you know, build the coffee shop and make it, like, look nice and have a little bit of creativity, so we did that, and now it's running for seven days. Seven days. Yeah, a week now. It's supposed to be only the summer. <laughs> do you guys get paid? Yeah, we do. Oh, that's fantastic because yeah. the church got a grant. So this is kind of exactly. part of the entrepreneur mission, yeah, if you will. Yeah, yeah, exactly. What have you guys learned working here? Yeah, so I'm now studying accounting and finance. Nice. Yeah, so we all kind of learn how to run a business and how to keep track of our inventory and obviously come up with our favorite drinks here. <laughs> I know, you have a whole menu. I love it. Like a like a real coffee shop, which is what it is. But yeah, what, exactly. My favorite part is this little hidden gem you have back yeah. here. This is a gorgeous, yeah. quiet chapel. Tell folks about this chapel and why is it so important to your coffee shop? Yeah, so St. Anne had us donate the, what you see right here. This is all from former St. Yeah, Anne's yeah, Church. Yeah, exactly, the pews and the stained glass windows and now we have our parishioners come and pray here and they can stop by for a coffee right after. It's gorgeous. It's going to eventually open for 24 hours. And the yeah. reason why you have the St. Anne's um, stained glass is because St. Anne's closed. And those right. parishioners come here now. Exactly. Yeah, we had our fundraiser for our eighth graders going to Washington, D.C. So we do a lot of community events. You them. really do. So yeah. people can be celebrity baristas and raise funds for exactly. any cost that they would like yeah, to. Exactly. So people can find you online, but you're open seven days a week. Yeah, we're open from weekdays 8 to 6. And then on weekends 8 to 3. Three, so you can see all the parishioners come on Sunday right after church down here. And it's really good <laughs> coffee. I had the chocolate abuelita, right? Yeah, exactly. And it was fantastic. All right, guys, when we come back around town, we will show you more from Holy Grounds Coffee Shop at St. Paul Catholic Church in Pilsen.